Dog Brothers Radio Show. Hang on to your hog jowls. You're about to go for the wildest, wackiest ride in broadcasting history. Since Marconi invented the meatball. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dog Brothers. Okay, Marv, I guess uh, we're, we're live, but we're not live. Which are we? Half live. Where are it's like Half Life. You have, you've heard of Radioactive Half Life? I've been a, ra a radioactive half-life once in my life. Yeah, it could happen. How about you? So what are you doing tonight, anyways? Anything special? or How do I know you real well? I don't know. Well? I'm not sure how you know me real well. <laughs> It'll wake you up. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I guess there's a big party down at the uh, Bonnie Castle Stables tonight. Well, I was down there earlier with you. Do you what? remember that? No. <laughs> and uh, it was quite a show. A lot of people there. A lot of people. How many people were there right a now? A lot of people. A lot of them? Oh, a lot of them. Somebody won a car. How many cars were there? I saw at least 50 cars. I think there were 50.
think about special times of plutonium and gold and girls that dress with nothing but bikinis all year, even though I was real cold. Now, how could you not believe that? I had to. Well, I can never believe it. chant bringing us back to reality and here we are on the dog brothers show officially becoming outer space night marv welcome to the dog brothers radio show i'm marvin dog i'm lenore dog we have lots of good stuff in store for you tonight hey, hey, you want to talk about uh the chryslers from outer space we yeah, have the chryslers from outer space how about the cow magnets the cow magnets a big subject we want to discuss here with you uh, the duplicate watertown kingston north country project in russia north america north uh, northeastern american nation of the continent i believe it is and had they had a jab to it that's going to be up later uh -huh. we're going to have a new contest tonight marv the new logo t-shirt contest boy that's exciting for me yeah. i'm sure some of the listeners out there are just begging themselves to be pinched so that they can understand what it's all about we're gonna have a little note on that in a minute and I understand that Dan Aykroyd may be listening tonight. And if he is listening, we're going to discuss Rasmus Bubble. And we're going to try to get Mr. Nodal to talk to Dan. <coughs> so, that reminds me of something. What's that right now? The contest. Oh, yeah, the logo contest. Right. you got to be a logo. We want to make some T-shirts, so we need a logo. You know, Dog Brothers Radio Show T-shirts. So right. send in your best drawing. Or this is the contest. Yep. Everybody out there right now should be paying strict attention to this. Now, you're not going to win anything except the first T-shirt. Well, that's not true. You're going to win something that's unbelievable. It's something you can't buy in a store. It's something you can't even have without our permission. What's that right now? Signatures. That's right. Special autographed Dog Brothers T-shirts for winning the logo contest. Yeah. All you have to do is write or draw or use an image from your brain on any kind of a... Anything. Paper, on the back of a t-shirt, you can put it on a pretzel, on somebody's Corvette, and bring that to our studio, send it to the studio. Wait a minute, we should have a place to send it. Send it to New York City. <laughs> <laughs> that won't work right now. <laughs> They're going to have to send it there. Until we get our new address in New York City, you can previously write to the Dog Brothers, Box 766. Watertown, New York, 13601. But I want everyone to pretend that they're sending it to New York City. Okay? So just get that address down again. Dog Brothers, this is where you're going to send your t-shirt logo. Just pay attention now. This is where you're going to send the logo on any form that you want to the Dog Brothers. This is how you win. You're going to win the contest. Send it to the Dog Brothers radio show, Box 766. New York Watertown. City. <laughs> New York 13601, thank you. We be back on CIZ slash FM on your dial 97.5. On your dial, baby. Thank you. 
looked into the sky A moon, a moon, I looked deep inside A moon, a moon, I looked up in your eyes A moon, a moon, a moon
Not to be an Englishman. Not to be a goddamn Englishman. <laughs> well, hello. 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 If I had a tit mouth If I had a tit mouth If I had a tit mouth Thank <laughs> you. 
arms of glory. All I could see was his lifelong story with his wife and his titmouse kids following him up to him. If I had a titmouse, if I had a titmouse, if I had a titmouse, I'd take him downtown. That's what I'd do. I wonder if this has anything to do with uh, cow magnets. You know, cow magnets is a subject I've been wanting to discuss for a while, ever since the first show, but it always got pushed pushed aside, you know, mm -hmm. because of the stomachs or something. Three of them. But I understand that there's this new invention out called a cow magnet, so if you do lose your cow, you turn on this giant magnet and drive around it. I guess you hook it up to the front of your car, yep. you get them back. As long as you're within 20 mile radius of the cow, when you turn the magnet on, you'll get uh, a definite positive response. It'll bring the cow right back to wherever you happen to be driving. Amazing how that works. You know, it's great. Last week we talked about science and how wonderful it is. And, you know, every, every, every week is really that, science. That's why it's outer space night. <laughs> it is because if it wasn't for science, there wouldn't be outer space. <laughs> Have you ever had the chance of uh, seeing something that maybe uh, you weren't quite sure what it was? Yeah, you know, like something in the sky, <laughs> like this. <laughs> but anyway, you know, that's why we're having the, the uh, awareness of outer space tonight. We want to know if anybody out there has actually had an encounter of some sort that you'd like to talk about on the radio. If you come up with something good, Mr. Nordahl might be here to answer your question. Uh, Later on, we will be talking about the Ballad of Porcus, how it started, mm -hmm. and what it's all about, and how it may come to you. In the meantime, we've got things to do and places to go and people to see. <laughs> really black! <laughs> We'll be back. 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 We'll
Yes, I'm out of vengeance, man. I'm out of vengeance, man. Yeah, Len, I understand we have a call on the dog line. Yes, as a matter of fact, we've got David out there from, from Governor. Governor of the Winterstown, and he wants to talk about his encounter. We have an encounter you want to talk about, David? David, welcome to the Dog Brothers Radio Show. Oh, hello? Hello. Am I on? Yes, you are. Well, see, it was weird. I was walking down the street, and I saw Elvis. Elvis? Yeah. Mm. Uh, is this Elvis Costello? What's that? Elvis Costello, you mean? No, Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. Yeah. Elvis Aaron Presley. Yeah. Was oh, he the inventor of pretzels? Or is that a different one? Now, is this the Elvis Presley from uh, Oxbow, the Oxbow area? No, the Elvis Presley. Oh, oh the, 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 the king. The king. And how did, how did what happen? Well, see, there was this big, bright light. Uh-huh. And it came down, and it beamed me up. And guess who was commanding the ship? God's brother? No. Godzilla? Hitler. Hitler! Hitler. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, thanks what a for call. calling. Thanks Dave. for we calling. Appreciate it. Hello. Dana, how are you doing? Pretty good. Did you have an encounter you wanted to talk about? Yeah. Well, could you let us in on it? I want to hear some... Uh... No, 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 an encounter. An encounter. Have you ever had an encounter? Oh, yeah, I had an encounter. Okay, thanks a lot for calling, Dana. I really, we really love that. Listen, it's been, uh, it's been great uh, when we have different uh, calls like that with the encounters. Makes me happy. I love those dogs barking. Well, what an effect. They bark at people when they don't understand what they're talking about. Well, sometimes Listen, that you know, happens. Some people have tried to describe encounters to me by the voices they hear. Wait, sometimes I hear could amoeba. that be amoebas. Amoebas. We're going to talk about amoeba rights. These are the outer space sirens coming to inform you of what's what going to happen. You? If you don't call the Dog Brothers radio show tonight, 800-336-9750 on the GBI radio. Why 
encounter forever ever encountered one. Hey, welcome to the Dog Brothers Radio Show. You got an encounter you want to talk about? Hello? Have you got an encounter? Hey, Hello, hey. Earth. Can you hear us? We are calling from Earth. Hey. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we, we can, can hear you. Fine. You can. Fine. Yes. Fine? Fine. Fine. Great. Great. Listen, I had this encounter when I was in Austin, Texas. Uh-huh. They beamed me up. Wow, man. And took me up to the North Country. That's they, how you got here? Oh, yes. And where did they, they? They dropped me off in Peanut Park, and I was about to lose my mind when I saw the stair monsters. Wow. There was dogs barking all over. Dogs barking? Yes. Fascinating. Oh, cats screaming everything. Wow, everything was I going lost on. my mind, and they had to take me to Augensburg. Was that exciting for you right now? And that's where I am now playing Monopoly. Hey, well, we're glad you called. And we you appreciate know, uh, it. I'm glad you called from Augensburg because we have a letter from a, a doctor living there, really? which we will read later. That's right, and uh, we're glad you're all turning into the Dog Brothers Radio Show tonight with Outer Space Night. And I guess... I'm real glad. Hey, a minute ago we lost Jason from Kingston. He had an encounter, but maybe he'll be back. You know, some we really... Uh, we'll be back. Some we really need to talk we'll about. We'll be back. What's that? <laughs> really? We'll, we'll be back. We're back now already. We're not back. We're, yeah, we're, we're back. We never left. We're, we're not we'll We're not coming back. back or we are back? <laughs> we are oh. never back. When are we going to be back? I need to talk about this Chrysler situation. Well, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> I understand, and the reason why I stopped this because you know there's only so much time, and we have a lot to talk about. I know. You're right. I understand. You're during right. the '60s, I don't know if any of you have seen, ever seen a Chrysler Imperial, the big one with that the fins was... and the big round thing on the back. Yeah. Of each fin. We read. I read somewhere. This is I, true. I showed this to Len. Uh, actually, an alien somehow inf infiltrated the engineering department at Chrysler and That's right. designed, That's right. built, and tested by himself this Chrysler, and it was a, it was a terrific car. He tried to fit in, didn't he? He tried to fit in, but was eventually run out. He was, he's by running the, on a uh, rail by Ayacoca. Ayacoca and, no, the, and the Japs. No, doing with the Japs. <laughs> but so anyway, I, I just had to get right. that in. Well, I'm, glad, I'm glad you did, because that brings up another important point here at the Dog Brothers. And what is that, Len? The fact that people are sending us tapes and letters. We've tapes got dollars. Unbelievable. And we're sending, of course, you can send a tape here with a, along with a dollar, and that covers the postage and handling, and we send you back a Dog Brothers show or tape of whatever you want. And, you know, uh, we are requesting now that our female listeners, because we get so many of them uh, calling, please send in a photo of yourself. And we'd like to uh, have you on record so we can see who we're talking to. Guys, we don't care, actually, how you look. All right. doesn't matter to us in, in the least. And that's why we'd like to talk to the guys on this note. Note on this. Whatever it happens to be. 
I don't see you. <laughs> I don't see you right now real well. How you how you say how you say oula oula in French Chinese? La lo alia olu hvia. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. The door.
Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. I got an obstacle. Ah, I'm slippery. Ah, I'm sticking it right in me there. Ah, it's all oh, golly, wally, golly, wally. Oh, golly, wally, wally. Ah. Well, Marvin, I guess we got Jason back from Kingston. Jason, welcome to the Dog Brothers Radio Show. You have Hello? an encounter. Yeah, Jason. You have an encounter you want to tell us about? Jason. Hey. Hello? Yeah, Jason. You are with us here on Outer Space Night. No, I'm not. You hung up on me, you fucking... Well, Jason, it was nice, nice of him to call. Yeah, it sure was nice. What a what a nice upbringing Jason might have, must have had. Yeah, he's probably one of the finest guys around town. Well, his parents should be proud. Yeah, as should all their parents of everyone around the area. And that's why we're coming to you tonight. Trying to the, talk beauty, about... the beauty of live radio. No holds barred. Let's have fun. Yeah, we're here for your enjoyment and entertainment. We've gotten a bunch of letters. Unbelievable. Mailbags full of them. Now, listen, we appreciate you writing in, but could you keep it down to a minimum? Because somebody has to go get all these letters at the post office. We actually read every one of these letters. The United letters. States Post Office is actually giving us a notice that uh, any excessive mail may be forwarded to another address. But so far, we've been able to get all the bags full, I believe. All you need to know is box 766. And the rest you know. Watertown. Dog Brothers Radio Show. Listen, you want to read one tonight? One of the letters? Sure. I'd love to. This one here. I think I have a... Uh, you want to read yours first? Sure. Okay. I got one here. Well, we'll actually, this is, your, this is yours. We have... We each I'm going to read yours. You read mine. Okay. We'll switch. This is from... Elizabeth Kwan Ding Sing Gan Go... No, she doesn't actually give her name because it wouldn't be right on the radio. No. But anyway, it's, it's a girl from... Up near DeKalb Junction. It's a small town. Fine area. I love it there. And she's written to you, Marv. I don't know if she hates me or says, Dear no. Marvin. Dear Marvin. I love the Dog Brothers radio show. You guys are absolutely, I'm not sure of the word, but you are very, at least enjoyable for us up here in DeKalb Junction. And we hope the best for the Dog Brothers. Isn't that a nice letter? It's a beautiful letter. But it beautiful. Works to you, but... What do you got? Is I have a letter. To me? Yes, I have a letter. This is addressed to the Dog Brothers. It's uh, Dear Dog Brothers. Right. It's not to you. Not to me. <laughs> and this letter is from Thomas no Bullhead. Thomas Bullhead. And he just read, says Jefferson County. New York? New York. I don't, so I'm really not sure what town he's from. He says, Dear Dog Brothers, the trade sector in Jefferson County grew by 45% since your show came on the air. My family and I are very grateful because you have, through your work, provided us with fine jobs and a better way of life. Please keep up the good work. There are now 30 more eating and drinking establishments opened in Jefferson and Lewis counties because of you guys. <laughs> they need radios to listen to in bars. Yep, right. that's it. That's good. Yep. I like. Listen, we got a Canadian one, and then we let me read this Canadian one, okay? Because then we got to go to the next song. Of course, because that's why we're here, to make everything as enjoyable as we can for everyone out there. Dear Dog Brothers, we are compiling a profile 
on your occupations and habitats within your right limits of the segregary, uh, I'm not sure of this word, accessory life. The segre segregary, segregary accessory, accessory life. life. Right. So we have to answer this, I guess. Is that the S-A-L? S-A, segregary accessory life. Yes, it is. I've heard of that. I heard of that. It's so like the, you know, a lot of people have diseases and they think that they have things that aren't really applicable to themselves. Mm -hmm. But in any way, so we're supposed to fill this out and send it in. I guess this isn't a letter. It's a questionnaire somebody sent us. But they did send it to the Dog Brothers, and everybody out there can send us a letter and have your questions read off on the air. And, of course, you will by sending to the Dog Brothers Radio Show. Box 766. Watertown. New York. 13601. Remember, 766. You know the rest. Yeah. I have a letter here from a psychologist, actually a psychotherapist, and I can't really read it. We don't have much time, but she does say that she has listened to every episode of the Dog Brothers Radio Show and is now comfortably seated in Ogdensburg, St. Lawrence County. And all she asks for is to keep her radio. Thank you. Keep us on. Disease. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll, we'll be, be back. back. We'll be back. Seven, two, three, four. Mr. Civilization. Marvin Dog with you here. Welcome back to the Dog Brothers Radio Show. Here's my brother Lenord, and we're going to take a call. Hi. Hi. From Canada. This is Bob, who claims to be an alien. Bob, are you with us? I am. And what planet are you from, Bob? I am from Uranus. Oh, it's a fine place. You know, I really, uh, I really uh, don't know much about Uranus. No, I don't either. Nice place, is it? Did you pick us up up or on our Uranus, Bob? How is the reception there on Uranus, 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 Bob? Because we have very sophisticated tracking equipment tuned especially to the Dog Brothers radio show. Oh, excellent, excellent. It's terrific. We really appreciate you calling here tonight. And we've got to uh, plug our sponsor, of course, which has uh, helped us through thick and thin, Mark. Stuck with us like glue. Glue. Unbelievable what they've done. We've had uh, a lot of support from everybody, including you, the fans. But we've got to give the sponsor credit every once in a while. Tonight's show is made possible by a grant from Copperhead Markets. Copperhead Markets, conveniently located all around the Lower Valley, is pleased to announce their new location on the river. As always, Copperhead Markets brings you the best in floating merchandise to go along with the floating interest rate. At Copperhead Markets, you never need money. You simply pick out what you need from the fabulous floating Copperhead display. Flash your Copperhead card and your choices will be waiting for you, ready to use when you get home. All nice and warm. Join those who have the Copperhead Advantage. Copperhead Markets on the river. Man, that Copperhead Markets, I'll tell you, 
You can't say enough about them. Good. Where would we be without them? Where would you at home be? Up the creek without a paddle. <laughs> we have another call from the U.S. Yeah, I believe it's uh, Jim Jones Martian Hunter from Watertown. Jim, are you with us? Jim Jones. Jim Jones, come in, please. Jim, can you read us? Huh? Hello, Jim. This doesn't sound like Jim. Is this Jim Jones? I think this is Jim's secretary. Jimette. Could you put Jim on, please? Nobody answered. Nobody <laughs> answered. Well, must that... be some kind of uh, alien party. Well, it is outer space night, and I'd like to just uh, reiterate that Dan Aykroyd may be writing into our logo contest to win that T-shirt autographed by the Dog Brothers. Of course, everybody knows you send to DBI Radio Network, Box 766, Watertown, New York. Yeah, that's what you do. 13601. Now, what about this secret council in Russia? Is there any... I understand this duplicate. We talked about the duplicate Watertown a few weeks back. And I understand this has been going on for about 10 years, and they've gone farther than just Watertown. They've duplicated, actually duplicated the St. Lawrence River and the border between the two Both countries. Both sides, right, the whole northeast. And that has something to do with Rasmus Bubble? The there Rasmus are... Bubble? I guess they've received visions from this bubble, and they said build a replica of a duplicate North Country. Thank you. Purified for you. There's no reason for you to think anything other than the no hair. No hair. Hey, Lynn, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Not again. <laughs> walk to the woods, 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 walk to the woods. I love me. To the woods. I love me. To the woods, walk. Any indication of my laceration will tell you how much I'm hurt. Any indication of my laceration will tell you why I'm hurt. I had a bad accident, I lost all my face, and now I'm in the human race alone. All alone. Any indication of my laceration will tell you why I'm hurting so bad. A car accident washed me out, and now I'm a cat. I don't get like a deal again, and I'm a deal for it, and I love you, baby. I can't afford you. Walk to the world. 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 Walk to the woods, walk to the woods, walk to the woods, walk to the woods, hey! Walk to the woods, 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 you are listening. You are listening to the Dog Brothers, the Dog Brothers Radio Radio Show. Show on the DBI Radio Network. Senior. <laughs> Thank you. 
just do it is all you need just a two of them you make the scene just a duo I'll make you see It's not so much might as you might just think you need It's just a duo It's all you need I'm Just a two of you will do as much to succeed Hey yeah, it's just a duo Just a duo, a duo will make you succeed They climb upon the world They think they're greater than their foes They make them sit, take notice And their eyes on them just froze they came upon us marching with their spears held high like swords We thought there was one thousand, if there wasn't twenty more They make up a duo It's a duo It's a duo It's a duo They scraped their way into the mountainside Even though they felt like they could ride Like the wind away from here They needed help and they would cheer Any thoughts in the rescue that they could get Just a duo It's just a duo just a two of you will help the cause, my friends. They're just a duo. They're just a duo. Two of you will help my friends. comes to an end here at uh, the DBI Radio Network. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, we got to catch this chopper. Yeah, the tape chopper's ready. We've had a great time with Outer Space Night. Don't forget to send your entries in for the logo contest. That's right, the Dog Brothers logo contest. We're going to make some T-shirts, and the winner gets an autographed T-shirt. That's that sound again. Thanks for all the calls. Thanks for the encounters. Don't forget to tune in next week for the Dog Brothers Radio Show on the DBI Radio Network. Good night. This completes another edition of the highly acclaimed Dog Brothers Radio Show. A production of the DBI Radio Network in association with Quanco Industries. All characters and ideas on the Dog Brothers Radio Show are from their own private fantasy world. And in no way, shape, or form do they represent the opinions of N. This broadcast of the Dog Brothers Radio Show is unrecordable and you will risk life and or limb by not trying to record the show. Executive producer, Bob Fisherambo. Technical director, Scad Nelson. Cameraman, Bob Dixon. Catering, Maharishna Von Breezy. 
Music director, Sigmund Freud, Jr. Production assistant, Cher. And the Dog Brothers dancers. Join us again next Saturday at midnight for another stimulating edition of the Dog Brothers Radio Show. All rights reserved. Now, another nonstop music marathon. Up to 60 minutes of continuous quality rock and roll. Pumping out the hits with 40,000 watts of hot power.